Amir Khan, thank you for talking to uh, FrankWarren.tv. Uh, December the 6th is the night that you're going to show the British public. You say that uh, the last fight was just a fluke and now you're back on track. How confident are you? Yeah, I'm very confident. You know, um, it's, been, it's been a tough training camp over in LA. I've changed a lot of things in the camp and you know, it's only going to make me a better fighter. Um, and I just can't wait to get in the ring and fight. You know, Ozzy's a, Ozzy Fagan's a tough guy who's going to come forward to win. And he thinks he can catch me now. You know, when when I'm just been, when I've just been beaten, he thinks he can finish me finish me off now. But you know, I mean, has got a lot in him. You know, that was only a 60 sec, 50, 55, 60 second fight. The last fight I got beaten. You know, I set things up for a reason. If that fight, if that didn't happen in the fight, then I don't think I would have been in LA. I would have, I would not have been this serious for the fight. And you know, for this fight, I feel in good condition, and I can't wait to get in the ring and fight. How disappointed have you been that uh, you know some people who once your fans almost instantly decided to be your critics because of one loss? Oh, that's just um, that's just the general public for you. You know, you you get people uh, who are who are saying you're the best this and that, and then when you do get beaten, totally against you. But that's just you know that doesn't bother me because I know I will achieve what I want to achieve in the game. I'm still 21. If I was someone like 30 years old, then you know it would have affected me. But because I'm still 21, I've still got years and years ahead of me and even if I take my time you know there'll be no doubt I'll be a young world champion. Much has been made with your training obviously with uh, Freddie Roach over in LA but we know about Spadden Barring with Manny Pacquiao we know about Freddie Roach but tell us a little about this dietitian that they brought in they say that, that with the diet and the conditioning they've redistributed the muscle on your body. Oh yeah definitely you know I was getting a bit bigger from the upper body and I was carrying a bit too much muscle which made me you know sometimes it make you think I'm a I'm a big puncher and I can knock anyone out just with the size of my arms and the shoulders and the back and which you know slowed me down just that bit and what I've started to do now is I've leaned up I've leaned down in upper body and put a lot of mass on my legs so the legs have got a bit bigger uh, and the shoulders have gone smaller the back's gone a bit smaller which has also made me make my weight a lot easier as well you know I'm making the weight so easy I'm making the weight so easy for the fight now and you know, I'm gonna walk into a fight. At, I'm gonna walk into a weight at something like four, five percent fat. I'm gonna walk into a fight at six, six, six and a half, seven percent fat, which is how it should be. Instead of walking into a weight at one percent, you know, because of the muscle I used to carry, I used to, I used to go down so much into the, uh, yeah, I used to go so low in fat, which you know could make you punch resistance and make you very, very weak. You know, that's what I figured out. I uh, speak to the people in America who. You know, who have been working with boxers for years and years. That's what they told me. You know, I didn't know about that. The, the first question was, uh, I mean, what do you walk into a fight? What, how much fat do you have on you mm -hmm. yeah. when you walk into a fight? And I said I was walking about 3%. They said, which is very, very bad because, you know, when you take shots, it's your fat what helps you to control that shot and, you know, take the shot. But um, when you walk into a fight with 3%, it, you ain't got much fat on your body. So that's one of the reasons I changed everything. and. Mm -hmm took a lot of muscle off my, bo my body and put it at the bottom of the legs and uh, put more fat on. And just uh, finally, uh, how much do you need your fans to come out at the XL December the 6th and be there for you on this comeback? Very big fight for you. It's a big fight for me. You know, I think this is one of the biggest fights for me uh, in my career now because you know, people want to see me, how I come back, how I've, how I've coped, how I've, you know, how I've gone from a, being beaten, how I'm going to be now. And I think I'm going to be a better fighter. You know, there's no doubt about it. I'm a better fighter. I'll be stronger and I'll be more focused. You know, That's one of the reasons I went to LA and trained over there with Freddie and sparred the best fighters down there. So, yep, I can't wait to get in the ring and show the critics and prove them all wrong.